Welcome to Bold Grid, a powerful website builder based on WordPress. Building your site with Bold Grid is accomplished in two easy phases. The first phase is the inspiration phase. This is where you will select your primary category and then select the base site based on your category or industry. The next phase is the customization phase. This is where you will spend most of your time customizing the site that was built in the inspiration phase to make it your own. So let's get started. To begin the inspiration phase, simply click the inspiration option from the left hand sidebar menu of your bold grid dashboard. This takes you to the main inspirations page. You begin on the design tab where you select your primary category and theme. The themes on the right hand side are customized according to the category selected from the left hand list. The all category will have all themes designed for each category. Find a theme you would like to take a closer look at and click the Select button. This brings you to the Content tab. From here, you can view the theme up close and check out the different pages. You're able to select the base page set that ranges from a three-page base site to the fully optioned kitchen sink site. If you want to have a blog option on your site, you will enable that here by clicking on the blog toggle button. Selecting your projected coin budget will adjust the stock images presented in your site that you will have an option to purchase later. These images start off with watermarks that are removed as you purchase them. Of course, you can always use your own images, making the site completely free. You can also see what the site will look like on different devices by clicking on the desktop, tablet, or phone icons. To go back to select another theme, click on the design tab. If you like the one theme you're looking at and have selected the base size, click on the next button to continue to the contact tab. The contact tab brings up a form to allow you to enter your contact information that will be entered when the site goes live. Don't worry, you can always make changes to this information later. On the form, simply enter a site or company name, your contact email, phone number, and physical address. Then you'll enter your social media site addresses for your social media menu. There are plenty to choose from. Once you're finished, click on the Next button. Keep in mind nothing is set in stone here and you can add or remove pages, images, and any of the information you entered as your needs change. From here, you are ready to install the site. Simply click the Install This Website button. Now your site will install and you are finished with the Inspiration phase. Congratulations on launching your first site. You can learn more about the Inspirations phase with articles from the Bullgrid Support Center at bullgrid.com support. With your base site installed, you're ready to begin the customization phase. The customization phase is where you will make changes to your site, making it your own. You may do things like change the site title, call to action, and contact information. You may also need to add, remove, or edit pages, and of course replace the stock content and images with your own. This phase is a continuous process which you will revisit to add and remove pages and content as your site's needs change. To get started with this phase, click on the Customizer option from the left-hand sidebar menu. Click on the Help tab at the very bottom of the left-hand side and a Help overlay will appear. This briefly explains the different areas of a page to help you understand how the tabs on the left affect the site. You can close it by clicking on the X in the upper right-hand corner. The best feature about the customizer is the live preview in the right-hand panel of the screen. This allows you to see any changes you make to the site before saving them and making them live. Notice the shortcut helper icons in the preview panel. They appear in different areas of the page. Clicking on one of these icons will take you immediately to the correct tab on the left for you to edit that section. For example, clicking on the icon next to the menu takes you right to that specific menu in the left-hand panel. The master tab list on the left covers all of these areas and more. Don't forget to hit the Save and Publish button as you go along to save your changes. Now let's briefly go over the tabs. First is the Site Title and Logo tab. 
Here you have several options, such as the site title itself, a tagline or subtitle, font styling, positioning, and text shadowing. You can also replace the title with a logo image. And then we have the site icon, which appears on the web browser tab. Next up is the colors tab. In this tab, you can play with the color palette tool. It has predetermined palettes for you to use, or you can build a custom one. This way you can design a color scheme that fits your business or branding. Now for the background tab. This allows you to replace the default background image with your own. Remember, you're able to see the changes in the right-hand preview panel to see if your new background image fits your site. Next is the Fonts tab. This tab allows you to change the fonts for the different aspects of the site, from the headings to the main body text. The Menus tab. Here, you can create and switch out menus for your site. You can also create a social media menu to connect your site to all of your social media accounts. Next is the Widgets tab. This is the area that allows you to configure widgets using the header and footer of your site. This is where you will edit information such as the call to action or add other information in the header or footer. Last is the Advanced tab. This is where more advanced users can further customize the site by adding widgets to the header and footer or custom JavaScript and CSS code. Once you're finished working with the tab, don't forget to click the Save and Publish button to save any changes that you made. All the changes you were previewing will now be live on the site. Click the X in the top left-hand corner to leave the customizer. You can find out more about the customizer at boldgrid.com support. In our next step, we're going to look at editing, adding, and removing content. Adding and removing pages is done via the Pages section in WordPress. Locate the Pages option from the left-hand sidebar menu and give it a click. Removing existing pages is very simple. Simply hover over the page you want to delete and send it to the trash by clicking the trash link. Be sure to update the menu if you need to and remove the page link from there as well. If you wish to restore a page from the trash, you can do that here as well. Visit the trash area, hover over the page you want to restore, and then click on the restore link. To edit a page, either click on the specific page name or hover over it and click on the edit link. You can also add new pages by clicking on the add new button or add new from the left hand sidebar. You will be able to select a page template to begin from or even a blank page if you wish. Whether editing or adding a new page, you will end up here on the page editor. Here you can add new content by selecting the Add Grid Block button. Now you can choose a grid block template based on your current theme. You can edit your grid block sections by using the different drag handles within the Bold Grid Editor. At the bottom of each section, there is a small toolbar with two buttons. One is a modification menu that allows you to change different aspects of the section. The other button takes you to a screen where you can drag the section around your page to rearrange it. Inside a section, there are one or more rows. Rows are controlled by the yellow drag handles. Each row contains one or more columns that are controlled by the blue drag handles. And inside each column are one or more elements controlled by the red drag handles. At the top of the page, you'll see a toolbar with buttons. Here, you can add items to your pages, such as buttons, icons, grid blocks, 
or blank sections. You can change the section background, column background, or even change the font styling. At the bottom of the page editor is the Bold Grid SEO section. This section helps you to configure your pages and posts for optimum search engine ranking using an easy to understand red and green light system. The editor tool is quite powerful. You can learn more about it with our articles at boldgrid.com support. For images, clicking on the image itself will give you many options. At the top of the screen is a toolbar that allows you to add new items, add a background image to the specific section, add a background image to a single column, change the image design, such as adding rounded corners, change the image out altogether, or add a custom filter. The toolbar that appears at the top of the image allows you to set the image alignment, change the image out, edit the image attributes such as size or captions, or remove the image entirely. When changing or adding a new image to your page, you have the option of uploading files from your local computer, using the existing media library for your site, or using the Bold Grid Connect search to search for images around the web. It's important to mention that you can start completely over at any time. You can learn more about starting over or any of the other material we've covered in the Bullgrid Support Center at bullgrid.com support.